This video is brought to you by the Technical Solution Sales Group of Enterprise Solution Sales. Welcome. In this video, we'll be going over some of the functions of the Setup and Configuration Console. In order for you to be able to perform the functions in this video, the following must be in place. A SQL Server database for AMT provisioning, which should have been created as part of the Setup and Configuration Server install. Secondly, you will need to have the appropriate certificates for TLS authentication, whether it's server or mutual authentication based. Lastly, you will need a domain user account for the console to run as, and must be part of the local administrators group on the server it's installed on. For this demonstration, we will be creating two different profiles for provisioning. The first profile will be for non-TLS communication, and the other for TLS, which will require the appropriate certificates to be in place. In the console, select Profiles in the left navigation pane. On the Profiles page, click on the Add button. Next, type in the name of the profile you're creating. For training purposes, we're naming it Non-TLS for this exercise. We will go through this process again to create a profile using TLS. The Administrator Credentials section is used to configure how you will manage your passwords of your provision AMT systems. If your SES console will be used to manage your passwords, then choose Random and the console will generate passwords automatically. If passwords are to be managed by the administrator, then choose Manual and type in the password. Make sure to click on the Apply button for the changes to take effect. For our demonstration, we will choose Manual and type in a password. Let's take a moment to take a look at the Wireless Profile tab. If you have Centrino Pro systems in your environment, here's where you would create a profile. You'll see a couple of options on this page, one for VPN routing, and enabling wireless connections without a profile. You can enable any of these options if they apply to you. Click on the New button and the Wireless Profile window will come up. Type in the name of the profile you're creating and type in the name for the SSID for your wireless network. In the Security Settings section, choose the Key Management and Encryption Algorithm appropriate for your environment. In the Authentication section, enter passphrase information and information for 802.1x if it exists in your environment. Once you're finished, Click on the OK button. Let's move on to the Network tab. Here you will see five different sections that contain options that can be enabled or disabled in this tab. We'll go over the options in each section. The first is the General section. Here you can allow or disable the vPro system to respond to pings. Check the box if you want to enable the feature. You will see that there is an Environment Detection button that allows you to enter domain suffixes that exist in your environment. To create an entry, simply click on the Add button and enter the information. But please take note, it is not required to enter this information here. If you have VLANs in your environment that have vPro systems that need to be revisioned, you will need to check the Use VLAN checkbox to enable this feature. And you will also need to enter the VLAN tag number information. Next, we have the Enabled Interfaces section. Here is where you configure the options for the web interface, serial over LAN, and IDER. Simply check the boxes of the options you'd like to enable when provisioning. In the TLS encryption mode section, you will see that there are three options, encrypted, plain text, or both. If you choose plain text or both settings, you will receive a warning regarding security risk. Simply click on the OK button to continue. We selected plain text for our non-TLS profile. Remember to click on the Apply button when you're finished. Next, select the ACL tab. This is where you will specify users that will be granted access to provision vPro systems that have this specific profile. You will define access privileges and realms that the user may access. When you click on the Add button, it will bring up the new ACL entry window. If you select Digest User, you will need to specify the account name to be used and the password information. For our demonstration, we will select Kerberos Authentication. Click on the Browse button and enter the user account. We will be using the Domain Admin account for our exercise here. Next, you will need to choose the type of access permissions that the user account will have. You can specify just local access, network only access, or both. And in the Realm section, select what realms that may be accessed. To select multiple items, hold down the control button while selecting each item. When you're finished, click on the double right arrow button to apply those access realms to the account. 
This will move them over to the Selected Realms pane, which will be applied to the profile. Click on OK to finish. Also, don't forget to click on the Apply button before moving on to the next tab.